when people come up to the stand, I always let them choose their own loaf because there's differences in, in, uh, in color because of the, the uh, darkness or the lightness of the bread depending on where they come out of the oven. There's differences in, uh, in how I've made the loaves. The customers at the market have been just great. People who have never tried my bread will come up and they, they, will, they will be very skeptical. They'll want to taste it beforehand. I don't offer tastes because the bread would just dry out. It's, it's, bread isn't something you have by itself usually. You have it with butter or jam or something. But I just say, believe me, it's, a, it's like no other bread you've ever tasted. So my bread day starts at 7 a.m. I go out and start up the fire. And that's nothing nicer, you know, get out a cup of coffee, go out and start up the fire, get it going. And every 15 minutes I have to feed in more wood. And so it's a, that's a nice process in the morning. Sometimes it's zero degrees out there. Sometimes in the summer it's, the birds are singing and it's a beautiful morning in the, in the, uh, 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 in the backyard. After Andre and I had been married for a couple years and we went to France, when I tasted the French bread in the, in the 1970s, it was so earth-shaking, so wonderful that I couldn't put down their bread. So when we came back here to Montana and we didn't have any bread like that here, I decided I wanted to start making my own bread. I talked to some of the bakers in France, and I started looking at books, experimenting, trying different recipes, uh, different techniques, and I've been doing that ever since. It's been 45 years. I lived in France for 24 years, and I can't remember a time when there was just not bread in my life. There always was bread in my life, and uh, I can't imagine I never could imagine being without it because every meal in France when I was growing up in, had bread in it, whether it was breakfast or lunch or dinner. When I moved to Bozeman, that was in 1970. I mean, you, could, you couldn't get good artisan bread at the time. Uh, you were stuck with pretty much what they sold at the supermarket, which was not exactly great. There was, for me, there was no flavor, there was no texture, no difference between the inside or the crust. It was pretty awful. So I was, I was homesick for the bread more than anything. The French don't think of their bread as special until they move out of France. By 11 o'clock, I have to take the fire out of the oven, slide in some extra bricks, close up the oven, at that point, it's about 800, 850 degrees, and let it start mellowing down to about 650 degrees over two hours. The loaves are rising, and the uh, oven is, is evening out in temperature. Okay, about two more hours. And we cover it, and there it is, closed up. When I met Don, I soon realized, my God, he was baking all the time. He was baking pizzas, he was baking pies. I mean, you could tell the guy enjoyed having his hand in the dough. And um, I think to this day, that's what I noticed. I think he's so happy when he bakes bread. This is probably the happiest time of his life. He's just focused on what he does and just is a happy baker. At one o'clock, I open up the oven and let it cool down to about 530 degrees at the bottom, 650 degrees at the top. And that's when it's perfect for start baking the very darkest first loaves. And the, the first loaves are, are like 15 minutes, 19 minutes, and they're done, and they're, they're very, very dark, very, very flavorful, and they just explode in the oven. Okay. You may notice how it kind of smelled like uh, roasting coffee. That's when you know this bread is done. To me, I, I can tell the slight differences between the loaves by how they, how they uh, react to the oven, how they're rising in, in, the, in the studio. It has to do with temperature, time, and, and air pressure, actually. 
I find that I bake better on stormy days rather than a warm sunny day out there or, or something like that. The, the stormy days, I, I think I bake better bread in the wintertime than I do in the summertime. I am the official taster and I let him know when, when there is something that doesn't quite work. When my family comes here, they seem to enjoy his bread more than they enjoy the actual French bread. Uh, to the point, I mean, it's pretty ridiculous to me that they ask me the recipe as if they were going to make bread in France, which we never do. Well, should we, you know? And so nobody really bakes bread in France, so they want a recipe. I said, no, you got the boulangerie next door. Go to the boulangerie and buy your bread. It's, they don't realize, I think, how long and how complex a process it is. It's been uh, rewarding for both my wife and I to just uh, get to know more people, uh, get out and, and uh, enjoy the, uh, the farmer's market. It's a great experience.